This is a Anvil mini lever chain hoist. If, you, if you've never used one of these, you know, you may not know much about them. If you have, obviously, you know what they're good for. But basically for lifting, pulling, hauling, tying, you name it. They have many, many uses. A lot of people use the come along to do various tasks. The reason I think they use the come along is because they've never used one of these little chain pulls. Uh, so pretty much it. It has a ratcheting handle. U, I'm assuming, is up, N is neutral, D is down. Pretty straightforward. You hook this onto something, and this hook goes onto whatever you're lifting. What I really like about this thing is its size. It is small. It fits in this little carrying case. Uh, carrying case has a little compartment on there, which I'm assuming you can use to tie or strap it down into something. But it's small enough to fit behind the seat of my car, truck, whatever and just be there, store there, and ready when I need it. That's what I like about it. For the record, I do have a much, much larger, heavier version of these chain falls. This is a Yale. Who knows what this thing costs when it was new, but I know they're pretty expensive. So what I have here is my gantry. Now the gantry does have winch on it, so I could just use that, but this is just a demonstration, and these tools for me anyway, they really are intended for use in the field, not in my garage. But the gantry makes a good place to hang it. There's, I don't know, four gallons or so in that bucket. Let's hook up our mini lever hoist. Now I'm just pulling here, no, no release necessary. It is connected to the bucket. I will make the, let's call it the follower chain, nice and taunt. I have moved the handle into up, so I will start ratcheting. So the force to move this is surprisingly easier than the Yale. Like this is this is quite easy. Well, now that I have established it does in fact work and pretty nicely. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look. So I have it on down, but I don't need to sit here and ratchet it, which takes forever. I can just spin it. Much easier at the load down. Well, let's uh, put the same to work. I have a strategically placed Ford Ranger here. I need to do some service to it. Uh, the rear of the bed is connected to this pipe, which is connected to that shackle, which is connected to the engine hoist. Uh, pulling a bed off, having the bar in there to lift up, not a chain between the two, that'll pull the sides in, keeps the bed nice and straight. Now on the front over here, I have two chain falls coming off my gantry in each corner. So that gives me, you know, a three lifting points. You know, make sure the bed's not gonna like flip over or do anything weird on me. Hey, I have my mini lever chain hoist installed somewhat upside down onto the bed of my truck because I couldn't, I was afraid I couldn't reach it. Get this chain tied. I am really impressed with this little thing. It was effortless. Even that Yale over there took a little bit of force. That was just smoother, easier, quicker. Everything about it was just better. I really liked it. All right, with the bed off, 
find our fuel leak. Pretty sure it's this uh, main looking line right here. Well, repairs are completed. I'm lowering the bed back down now. And it's quite nice because you can just go in small little increments as I slowly lower the bed back down. Let's see how well it'll pick up this 500 pound boat engine. Seems like for best results, you gotta get the chain top first. So I'll go up, weight on the old chain. Well, it did it right off the ground. No troubles at all. So all in all, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. It's, it's lightweight, it's small, it's compact, comes with this little carrying case, which means I just put it behind the seat of my truck and it'll be there when I need it. Seems like a, a great little tool.